Hey YouTube, this is Alexander, and today I'm going to be giving you my full overview of Android 5.0 Lollipop running on the 2013 Nexus 7. So let's go ahead and get on into it. So real quickly, I do want to say that this is not the factory image from Google site. This is actually the OTA.zip file that I sideloaded. So despite it being a sideload, I do want to mention that this is still the official Android 5.0 Lollipop as Google intended it to be for the 2013 Nexus 7. So Android 5.0 brings with it a new lock screen. Uh, you've got just the whole material design going on here, as I've mentioned in my previous videos, and everything works pretty nice. Uh, you do have a bounce back effect on the home screen and inside the app drawer, and I you know, I like it. I've gotten adjusted to it. The buttons I've gotten adjusted to uh, using it on a bigger display, you know, constantly because the 2012 Nexus 7 wasn't really my daily driver for a tablet, but this is, uh, I gotta say it looks really nice. The dual paned settings area looks nice and the little animation down there when you scroll to the top or bottom of a list, I like that. Uh, everything just works and looks really good on here, especially on the bigger display. I'm really enjoying uh, the way that it operates on a bigger uh, Nexus of course, if we pull down from the top, we can still get to our quick toggles and jump into settings. And we can also add multiple users. So this is something that's actually been here since I think KitKat, but you know, it's nice to have a little bit of a refreshed look if you like to share your tablet with other family members or friends. Oh, and by the way, in case you guys were interested or you guys were wondering, maybe you flash the factory images and you still have the old launcher, go to the Play Store and download the Google Now launcher and you'll get the new updated launcher. So something that I do wanna mention is that this is my daily driver for a tablet. This is what I'm always using whenever I'm using a tablet. And I don't use it for much gaming, as you guys may already know, I'm not a big gamer. So what I mainly use it for is productivity. I like to take notes and drive or keep, uh, create documents. I like to read my books for score, whatever else I need to read. Uh, this is mainly what I use my Nexus 7 for. So performance in that aspect is you know, phenomenal. It's great. I haven't really noticed it to bog down or uh, hiccup or anything like that at all, especially since these tasks aren't really too heavy on the process or anything like that. They're just simple tasks like reading a book or creating a document. Now consuming media is where it's gonna get really nice. If you guys aren't partial to the four by three aspect ratio, uh, you may want to think about the Nexus 7 2013 because it does have a 16 by nine. So looking at videos on here is gonna look pretty nice. As you saw there, there's not too much letterboxing up top and bottom. Now, if you go ahead and go on into the settings and take a look at the battery, you guys will notice here that I've gotten quite a bit of usage out of it. And so it's just really nice to be able to not worry about charging it all the time. Now, my usage is going to be different from your guys's, of course, but charging it is really not a problem. And whether you're smashing glass and breaking pyramids or you're you're, you know, taking a jetpack for a joyride. Gaming on here is going to be pretty nice for the most part. Now, I did notice a little bit of um, slowdown when I was playing Smash Hit, and it seemed to be just the fact that it couldn't really keep up with everything that was going on in the game. Now, here on Jetpack Joyride, that wasn't the case. Everything seemed to be just fine. As you can see, it's moving pretty fast here, but I didn't really notice any performance issues in this game. So maybe it's an optimization issue, maybe it's an issue with the older S4 Pro, uh, who knows, but performance for the most part is gonna be pretty nice. And for any of you wondering out there, I do have a gig and a half free uh, of RAM, and that is with everything still kind of loaded and going on in the background as you can see here. So there's that in case you guys were wondering. And finally, I haven't really seen this be mentioned uh, really at all too much, is that the gallery is now gone and it's replaced with the Photos app. Now I'm all for the Photos app, I really enjoy the icon, I like the, the look of it for the most part, but I wish it was a bit more organized inside. Uh, it just seems a little bit jumbled. What's uploaded to Google servers and what's not and what's synced across devices and all that, it just seems a little bit messy. But anyway, that was Android 5.0 Lollipop running on the 2013 Nexus 7. I gotta say, it's a really nice upgrade for uh, the older Nexus device and it definitely improved performance, or at least it seems to. It could be a placebo, but performance definitely seems pretty nice. Uh, battery life, I'm definitely not worrying about charging it every day or even every other day, although you know usage and charging times are going to vary across users. And for the most part, everything just seems really nice. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe down there for more, and that's pretty much it. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.